Hi guys, it is Monday, January 27th, and I am going to give you a Ruins of AQ walkthrough. So, um, just gonna make sure it's working. Yes, okay. Um, just to clarify, uh, we did Temple of AQ, or as it's, ju it's just called AQ usually. What are you? Oh, okay. Um, and that one was up this way. Ruins of AQ is this way, just on the left here. Um, and the quests for that area and for some other stuff are all right here. You can grab them. I've already done them. Um, they are for off pieces. They're not for the set pieces. The set pieces you get from Temple and the off ones you get from, uh, Ruins. Greek. So yeah, if you talk to them, nothing happens. Um, so you'll get, uh, I believe a neck, a cloak, and a ring. So that's pretty good. So we're gonna hop in. And um, I will say I'm not going to uh, be looting any chests. Um, I'm not going to be uh, I'm not gonna be looting any chests or um, anything like that. I, I don't need them. I have all of my items, but same as, uh, Temple of AQ, um, the, uh, bosses drop keys and there are chests all throughout the, uh, chests all throughout the dungeon or raid or whatever. Okay, so these are the idols that drop. I'm not gonna grab it. I already have yeah, my definitely already has five, so I'm not gonna grab any. But, um, so yeah, that's how these work. Um, and there's a, you can see, I'll, I'll point at the chest if we go past them. There's a chest there, you have to grab that one at the end. I'm also not gonna fight the bosses in order. Uh, I'm just gonna do a loop. Uh, it doesn't matter what order you fight them in. Obviously, I don't have to do them in order. So, just, uh, in whatever order you would like. I will still show you the as well. No. just doing this for rep now whenever I do run this, which I only get from bosses now because I am revered. So this is current axe. And he drops some quest items and he has a chance to drop a BOP blue to BOP Purples and um, and then he'll drop these quest items, and those are for um, the random neck pieces for the quest that we're just outside of the right. So, money. We will take that. There's the drape. Um, oh, these also have a chance to drop, and for those of you who played WoW way back in the day, um, you used to have to, you could only get certain levels of spells, or get certain spells from books. You couldn't train them from a trainer, back when you still trained spells and moves from trainers. Um, so I take these because they sell for 10 gold apiece, and there's the key. Well, you know what? I will loot one. I did not want to loot all of that. Oh well and I will show you how the chests work. They're very similar to the ones in Temple. Um, in the regular AQ. Okay, sounds good. Well, that was I will loot because, well, I'll we'll loot them if I have to. They're worth they had decent money on the auction house. You can just sell them in stacks of five or something. All right, so you have a key. I'm just gonna hold down shift while I click it so I don't automatically loot everything and you'll get a couple idols and a couple scarab bags. That's pretty much how that works. So, uh, You can mount up in this dungeon. You can't use the Karaji battle tanks like you could in the other one, but you can mount up. You can see there's some Cenarian circle guys over there. So we're just going to meander along. If you want, you can talk to him. Let's find out. 
you don't have to. Um, it's handy if you're doing this at level 60, but... So, how this works is, um, you don't have to follow this if you're ahead, but if you're doing this in the order, I will kind of explain this to you. So you'll get waves. you'll get the captain will come and then the next captain will come so we have captain quiz first and then now we have captain two bit three we get captain Duran. and the captain's all drunk and then we get Captain Zerem. And we'll leave them all after. And we get Major Yegev next. Zeron. And lastly, we get the boss, General Rajax. for fighting him. I will take money. I will take you. I will take the book. And the tablet of healing wave. Excellent. Nope. I will take you as well. That will take you too. And then sometimes there will be a vendor and you can sell and buy stuff from him as well. Nope, nothing from these guys. Okay. And let's get moving. Um, so I'm gonna veer right first. Um, again, you can, it doesn't matter which order you go in, you can get to both sides without worrying. And we're just gonna go till I get to the boss. And just before I get to the boss, I guess. And sorry, I guess I should. So this guy drops the bracers. His cha captains have a chance to drop these. He has a chance to drop these plans and these this quest item. So this is tech. If you're doing this in order, this guy is technically the next boss. Wow! Oh, I'm gonna pull him right out. item. 
I already know that enchant. Sure, I'll take a scarab. Oh, more money. And a green. Awesome. Okay. So, again, this guy drops these plans, the chance to drop these blues, these purples, and these quest items. Now, the next guy that we will fight would be over here, I think. Um, again, we're just going to go right to the last boss, and then I will still go around and show you guys all the other ones. So, I will skip ahead to the last boss. Now, at a previous level, it was a good idea to go around and kill all the extra guys. Um, and it was also a good idea to go and click on other things to get buffs. Well, speaking of which, I'm get to look forward to. Um, you don't need to if you're doing this probably from level 80 and up. Um, I'll see if I can find one here to show you. So these things, you could have clicked on those. And I don't know what they do, actually. I've never actually clicked on them. I've always just gone and killed him, so... I don't know what this does. But, yeah. So there's a thing to click. I'm assuming there's a reason for it, but I don't think you need that reason anymore. Anyway, so this guy. I'm actually going to do the loot beforehand. These quest items. Um, he drops an item that begins a quest, like most of the last bosses in this tier do um and he drops his chance to drop these purples as well and his, his strength will increase and his damage will constantly be increasing isn't as good as it is in AQ. Um, yeah. So there's the quest item. I'm not going to take it. I've done the quest already. There's a purple. There's a purple. That's a quest item. More tones. Yeah. And then this whole area just kind of has blue sand rolling around in it. So that's the last boss. Um, and so the next one we will fight, I believe, will be Amos the Hunter, and I need to actually go down the right way. Yeah. So this guy drops, has a chance to drop a mace, a ring, and then all these quest items. because they sell really well. And that's it. Really, really simple. There's another chest. So there's one around each boss. Um, there will never be more chests than there are uh, keys. And then the last boss is here at the bottom. guy, the bro the gorger, drops these two blues, has a chance to drop these two blues, and these quest items. Don't fight them quick enough to patch them as well.
And that, my friends, is a very quick run through of Ruins of AQ. That is all there is to it. And I will just show you how to get out of here if you don't want a hearth and you want to go hand in your quests. Um, it's very, very simple. Um, I didn't show you how to do it for temple, but you really, you just have to run out the way you came. This way, you can run all the way around, but there is a little shortcut. And if you go the other way, and you fight, uh, you fight these guys, these two last bosses first, and then you go around and fight, um, what was his name, Moem? Yeah, Moem. Um, again, you just have to follow it the way out, but yeah, you just run around, and you can... I think you can only make these jumps if you're mounted, but I'm not entirely sure. But just mount up, and then you can run around. And that is it. Just keep running and then we're right back at the, here's where we fought the general guy. So that's it guys. Um, hope you found that helpful. Please, please continue to leave comments down below for various ideas. I'm trying to get an ice crown run together just with people's schedules and everything. It's been really hard. So I'm hoping within the next month um, I can get all of us together online and get that done. I will send out some Facebook messages maybe this week and try and get that all sorted. Um, but I, did, I know someone requested Black Temple, so that is now up. Um, I'm hoping to do Blackwing Lair with my husband maybe one night this week, um, or possibly this weekend coming up. So that one will definitely be in the near future because he wants to get the pets and I need. Um, there's something There's something I need from that raid. I don't remember what it is. Anywho, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.